Uh, hello, everyone. Today we are going to talk about the uh, Hololens, and uh, this is episode fifth. And uh, yeah, so uh, what type of tools that we can use for envisioning holograms? And there are like ten different ways you can make a prototype or like uh, you can um, sketch out your ideas. First is absolutely free. Everyone can use it and no skill required. It's called imagination. You can just sit there and start thinking about how to make a great um, uh, holograms just by thinking. So your own imagination will always be the highest fidelity, most vivid, best simulator of breaking through holographic experience. Yeah, and second one is narratives. It's like uh, you can write a story and uh, kind of use verbal to describe it. And the, base, the best uh, way of doing it is telling someone about the ideas. And uh, according to different types of audience, you can change the way of description. So you can make a story out of it. The third one will be the fourth like taking photos for example like a bring your smartphone and go out and find some cool spot where there's nobody there so you can start like taking some cool photos and start like a sketching on top of the photos so yeah you can get a sense of how cool like the holograms will be exist inside that space yeah and number four is called sketching uh, rather than focus on like specific like a uh, scene, you can start doing your storyboard, which is kind of like a, a film director. They will make some little thumbnails of how narrative goes and put some uh, environment like sketch out everything very fast in the storyboarding, uh, in a storyboarding format. Yeah, so storyboards are a much easier math to convey mixed reality ideas yeah the fifth one will be powerpoint powerpoint is uh, a really simple like a software that requires so little technology and uh, everyone can use it and uh, we can always like collaborate with other people by using powerpoint for presenting and share ideas and uh, kind of uh, like uh, editing and put some comments so powerpoint is also a really good way to convey your um, hologram ideas. Another one is pretty fun, it's called acting. Acting uh, because since hologram is kind of putting yourself into other people's shoes in the different environment. So for example, I can pretend I am a dinosaur and my friend can pretend they are the people who interact with dinosaur so we can have like a, a one minute clip and people start like improv like start act acting out like for example like uh if i'm a dinosaur inside this room and people look at me like a what and i will say hi nice to meet you or some weird conversation going on so we can start like a uh by t recording those types of action, we can start envisioning how we can um, make this, like what's the personality of this dinosaur or how we can make stuff happen. So another one will be videos. We can take a videos, like uh, use our smartphone and take a one minute clip and then start video around my room or my living room or my kitchen and then I, uh, we can put some graphics, use like uh, After Effects or some other softwares to put the graphics on top of the videos to uh, present the ideas. That's also pretty cool way to um, kind of envision like your um, your holograms. Another one will be prototyping. Later on, I will show a little small clips of uh, I interact. It's not really interactable, but I put. I, I play around the software inside Microsoft. It's called like a uh, something like a mixed reality envision. Uh, later on, I will type out the. Uh, it's called mixed reality viewer. It's inside my PC somewhere. 
yeah, and I started to play it out, and it's really fun that I can see like a 3D model, and I can animate it, and I can also upload my own personal um, uh, uh, 3D models, which I will try my best to upload some 3D models, maybe some cubes or a cup or something, and uh, let's test it out whether, yeah, and it's so fun, and you can just see like uh, dinosaurs inside the living room even though I couldn't really interact with it but I can put a registration point somewhere in the environment and when I move around my body and then the hamburger will move around with me it, it seems like uh, it, it's more like AR but uh, if I wear glass like a uh, MR glass and the dinosaurs still there, I can interact that it will become MR. Yeah, which is really fun. Yeah, later on I will show you. So as for AR, AR is similar to MR, but there's like a screen 2D screen limitations. So uh, for example, like you can use like Snapchat or like a, um, Facebook. They have a lot of great like a AR um, some graphics you can play around and to see how things goes just by using the graphics or 3D object on top of your environment. Yeah, and MR modelers will be special purpose mixed reality sketching apps. Um, yeah, so there are so many cool stuff and uh, um, I just happened to find out there's a cool um, 3D sketching is called uh, uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Surface Surface Studio, which is super cool. You buy s like a pad and you can draw something on the surface. And there's some uh, accessories which you can adjust, like the volume of uh, every um, uh, scenario. So it's really cool. And then VR prototyping, you can always use like a, uh, for example, like a tilt brush. It's in uh, HTC Vive, I, I think. Uh, I, I read somewhere, but um, it's really cool that uh, we can start to prototyping in the real space. So uh, it's easier for us to uh, do that when use VR prototyping. But uh, VR prototyping is super expensive. Uh, Right now, I want to order a VR headset, and they're like on HTC website like a few days ago. And I think the old version is 400, around 400, something, 400, 500. And uh, the newest one will be like uh, at least 1500 uh, with all the great accessories or something, around 2000 something. Uh, so it's so expensive to use VR prototyping. It's easier to um, maybe use Maya, but Maya is also expensive as well. It's 190 per month just for subscription, the uh, subscribe the, the software, which is crazy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we can try it. And the cinematic tools, which means there are so many cool like a film. Um, film like a film make making tools software is around us we can just grab it and start shooting some stuff and trying to mimic the different angles and kind of composite uh, taking a film director perspective is incredibly useful so right now we have a lot of cool like VR films uh, nowadays so I mean we can start thinking in a film way so we can make our uh, holograms cool and fun. And the next one will be coding. Coding, yeah, coding is hard. I know, for people who doesn't have any developer uh, mindset or any logic, any like, um, you know, any special training, it's hard. But um, I'm glad that um, uh, the coding is getting easier and easier. So I don't know how easy it will be, but as far as if you want to kind of modeling stuff and animating stuff without any interaction, you can still build in Maya and import it to Unity and kind of let things doing. And then maybe later on you can 
um, get some code from GitHub or some some YouTube tutorials and copy and paste and see which animation or see which interaction you like and copy and paste into different uh, code sheet and put into different characters. So that's my plan. Yeah, like yeah, coding. It's kind of the place where I think it's so divine that it takes me probably really long time or um, hard working to make coding happen. And making is just like a get the headset, get the software, and just make it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, right now it's good. It's 10 minutes right now. So later on, I will put like some footages about I myself interact with uh, Microsoft uh, Mixed Reality Viewer. It's super cool uh, software and uh, uh, you can upload your 3D models on your own and you can put and register inside your space as long as you have camera attached to your PC or Mac. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's enjoy it. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see how this work. We go to mixed reality. And uh, yeah, it's cool. And you can start put the dinosaur anywhere. Yeah, it's okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, cool. So I can be in the space with this dinosaur. It's cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I can choose different, for example, the different uh, 3D assets, for example, like uh, the UFO. Yeah, and uh, I can, yeah, it's, it's a little bit like a augmented reality, but it's cool. And then I can choose like some monsters. It's really cool. And uh, yeah, it's in PC only, I think. Maybe in the future, you can use like a, the iOS. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Kind of a little bit like augmented reality. Yeah, cool. So, so maybe I can do that. <laughs> ooh, ooh. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else. Uh, hamburger. Maybe I. I yeah, <laughs> wow. This looks cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Ow. Ow. I don't think it's interactive, but it's cool. <laughs> ah, ah. It's moving with my bounce. Ow, ow, ow. The registration point is a little off, but it's pretty cool. It looks like Snapchat or Facebook, like some cool animation stuff. Yeah, cool. <laughs> 